what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another destiny 2 news video and today i want to go over the latest destiny 2 roadmap because it beholds some seriously interesting things but before we do guys if you'd like to support the channel you can by hitting that like button your support truly does help me and my channel out Okay, so the latest roadmap you can see on screen. Now let's take a look. We see the Warmind 1.2.0 update, which has already been deployed. So there's no point and no need in mentioning anything here. Uh, so let's look at the 1.2.1 update set for May 29th. Faction Rally Improvements. Now we know of improvements coming to faction rallies. We don't know everything about said improvements, but I'm guessing things will be very different indeed. I am wondering though if this actually means faction rallies will arrive on May 29th, because this update might just prepare changes for the faction rallies to come the week after. We don't know. So I ain't sure if this confirms faction rallies will arrive on the 29th, but let's keep our hopes up. We then see a new edition called Crucible Labs. What is this? Well Bungie State, I can already hear you asking what is Crucible Labs? I am glad you want to know more. Update 1.2.1 will include a new feature intending to give you a peek behind the scenes at a louder voice in our creative process. Crucible Labs will give every player of Destiny 2 access to experimental PvP content. We'll then have a chance to solicit your feedback to guide our final iterations. Now this is what I am talking about. I mean, we basically get to test changes they've planned before all the changes are set in stone. People, this is the bungee we know and love. Where the F have they been? But I am glad they are back. Exotic armor sandbox changes. This we have been hearing about, but we haven't seen much in terms of the actual changes coming. But judging by the changes we have seen applied to exotic weapons, I'm quite optimistic about these changes. Next up, we have an update planned for sometime in July. We get a new seasonal event called Solstice of Heroes, which sounds cool. Christopher Barrett states, we're launching a new seasonal event called Solstice of Heroes, where Guardians will celebrate their accomplishments and, of course, earn sweet new rewards. So I do look forward to hearing more on this for sure. Bounties also return. Wicked. Expansion 1 and 2 Raid Layer Prestige. I mean, we have been waiting a while for the Raid Layer 1 Prestige mod. Hopefully this date is set in stone, but it has changed a lot, as you well know. PC Clan Text Chat, Year 1 Triumphs, interesting, and more exotic armor sandbox changes. The big one, September. Gear collections, records, weapon slot changes, which is massive people, and something we are all interested in hearing about. Will they revert back to how Destiny 1 was? I ain't sure, but I'd like to see it. We then have weapon randomization, which I do believe is random rolls within weapons. Seriously something missed from Destiny 1 and a change I feel was forced upon Bungie, but at the end of the day, they knew it was the right call. Still a shame we have to wait until September for this, but it will be worth that wait, I guarantee it. New gameplay mode and more yet to be revealed. So changes look great indeed people, much to come and much to learn, a new seasonal event, random roles, crucible labs and much more. The path ahead in my opinion is a good one. On that note guys I am at, just a quick video updating you guys on the latest Bungie roadmap. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like truly does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.